How's it going everyone? It's Rick here with UTBSource.com. I'm back in the garage today working on the 2020 Turbo S Dynamic build. We've been doing on YouTube. Uh, this is our personal company car. And it's just about done. I'm really excited to get out there and drive it. I haven't been behind the wheel of a Polaris in a few years. Uh, mainly because of the Can Am X3 builds and having a lot of fun in those. So uh, it was time to switch gears get into a Polaris and see what all the hype is about again. And uh, I'm really excited. Before I go out and beat on this thing, we've got a few more things to, to add to it to finish the build off. So a couple of those items are gonna be all the lighting packages that I selected for this, this build. Um, as you can see, we've got a six light Pro 6 LED from KC Highlights going on. And it's actually gonna bolt directly onto the Cognito cage because it came with the Pro 6 brackets that bolt right on. So the Cognito cage and uh, those guys thought of everything, really. And like I said, from the very beginning of this build, it's a very modular build and we're sticking to that. You can add to it at any time. You can just get the cage, the doors, the flip up spare, the bumper, window nets, and all the brackets in any order you want it all bolts on it's tapped out for it it's awesome so we've got the modular light package this is the pro 6 it's a, it's a freaking awesome light i basically put it on everything uh, i love it it's your it's your distance light okay so there's a couple youtube videos up about this light you should check into those but we're also going to be adding a kc highlights pro 6 le not a pro 6 Black Series. I just totally destroyed this whole video. Should I redo it? No, I'm not gonna redo it. <laughs> so, we're also adding a, a uh, Flex 10 inch, which is another modular light. KC Highlights kind of has this thing going with being able to customize your lights, making them modular. So the Flex, you can start out with a pair or go to three, go to four, go to five, go to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have an order in for a 12 light that's going in on a custom built H, H1 Hummer. Uh, not a cheap light when you have 12 of them, but it's awesome. You get to add to it, customize it. And on the, uh, the Flex Series 10 inch, you can do a single, doubles, a 10, to a 20, to a 30, to a 40, to a 50. Now the one we're gonna be doing is a 10 inch. It's a just a little under 5,000 lumens at an amp drop of about five. Remember guys, Casey highlights 50 years, 50 years, 50 years in business. 26 year warranty on your lights. That's why I recommend them to people because of the price point, because of the customer service, and because of the warranty and the output's insane. And you get to customize them. So let's get into it right now. This is the Casey Highlights Flex Series. So they have individual heat sinks. It's linkable back here. You can turn this 10 into a 20, a 30, a 40, and a 50. It's customizable, meaning these are the rings. Ours came with gold. We have no gold on our build, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is put in silver ones. Now, I did not have time to get these coated the way I would have liked. I shot these with paint, and you can do the same at home. But all they really do is, you've gotta make sure that the gaskets and everything are lined up Spin this guy back in. You don't want to go beating on this thing with these lips in here, right? You're just going to tear them up. So we actually sell the tool that Casey makes. It's right there. You can see the little indentations on it. That grabs into the ring. You spin it in. little rubber guy, the gasket or the seal, 
needs to be just right, so I've got to redo that one. This is where you just have to be patient with things. You don't want to get fingerprints all on the inside because you'll see them. Seth didn't fight me this time. That's it. So Casey actually sells replacement colors. So you can get these in gold, black, blue, and red. Again, we went with a custom silver. And in the center, I put a black one in. That's it. So in another addition to this, accessories for this light, which I think is pretty cool, is this guy. This is going to protect these from getting damaged. Again, it's on the website. And you can order this cover in amber as well. And that will create an amber light. We went with the clear on this car. Comes with everything you need. A little screws in the pack. They go right into the face. They've made it very, very uncomplicated, right? So we're able to customize the look of our our car, we can customize the color of the light by going to an amber lens, and we're protecting the LED now. So we don't damage it. And that's how fast that goes on. So if you guys are looking to put amber lenses on, buy this cover plate. That's it, super simple. So we're gonna get this on. Comes with its wiring harness right here, pretty simple. We're also gonna be using a cyclone on the interior. This is a uh, accessory light. I believe this one's diffused, so it's it's got a like a frosted lens on it. And in addition to that, we went ahead and ordered the cyclone mounting kit for one to 1.75 tube mounts. So what this is, since most of these, car, these cages don't come with anything, pretty simple. This wraps around the tube. Velcro's back on, hangs your light down, and it's already kind of radius to fit in the clamp, and your light bolts on just like that. Again, they thought of everything. So, we're gonna get this on. Okay, we got our Flex Series light from Casey Highlights. I love these lights. They're kind of just it's tight, but I can still move these around. I have not pulled this out yet. There's no point until it gets set up. It keeps the head of the bolt in the groove right here. So when you're done tightening this up, you can pull that out. That way the head doesn't flop out. Pretty cool light. This is the Cognito bumper. And it's already drilled. You can see it. There's drill, oblong drill holes here this way lengthwise. They've given you a, a lot of options to mount lights up. You're gonna see if this mounts up. They say it does. It looks like we're gonna have to change the bolt guys. So. It does mount up. Bolt in the kit does not line up. Got a couple options here. Some of you don't really care, you can just drill it and put it in. I'm gonna go ahead and just get a different bolt, pop it in. But the holes are lined up. So let me find some bolts that are gonna work. Pretty cool bumper. Nice not having to take it to a fab shop, have some tabs put on. Boom, done. So basically the bolt was a little bit too big for the hole on the Cognito bumper. The light the Flex Series light will come with the, the mounting brackets as well. That 
looks rad. Pretty, pretty pumped on that. We got some light. Remember, these are the heretic LEDs. So basically now we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 forward facing LEDs. Now we're gonna add this bad boy. These are rad. Let's get going on this. Boom. That is the Casey Highlights Pro 6. That's a six light for the Razor. I wanted to, to show you how to install it, but uh, it became a two person job with our window net bracket from Cognito and the Cognito bracket provided by Cognito for the Pro 6. So uh, I had to kind of get creative. But right now you can see what I'm doing is I'm loosening up everything and I'm adjusting the light bar from being straight to having a radius. You can see it there. So you have to loosen up all these little Allen heads, the big ones and the, the little ones. You have to take the little ones out and swap them to the other side, which is what I'm doing right now. And that's gonna hold the radius on. It comes straight. So these are actually in the other spot and that's what holds it straight. So we're putting it on a radius. Once I get them all changed over, we'll go ahead and add the supporting bracket, which is this. And that's gonna hold tension on this. So we're gonna find a place on the cage, or on the roof panel, sorry, and bolt that on, either this way, or this way. As long as it's pushing tension out and on that to support the light, so that we don't break or fra fracture one of these housings. So, it's in the directions. This is the, uh, the Casey Highlights Pro 6. This is my, my favorite light, guys. This is like my go-to distance light. And they're not just for side-by-side. -side. You can put them on your truck, your Jeep. That's the other reason why it has the, the bracket up there, the brace to support the center section. And you can get this in pairs Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like I said, one's being done for a Hummer H1, takes twelve. It's just a great looking light. The performance on it is insane. There she is right now. So I'm gonna wrap that up. Got a few things I want to go over on this that I've added. You can probably see the PRP door bags. Got those on, we'll touch on that here in a bit. But uh, all in all, went together great. Again, we opted for the window nets, which came with this bracket here, which is already bunged into the cage. And then we ordered this Pro 6 light mount from Cognito as well. So I'm pretty stoked. Let's get back to it. Let's see, Emma. Moving this over to here now, tightening it down. <clears throat> you have to do this if you're gonna radius it. Because this light, you're gonna put tension on it, right? To get it from straight to curved. I'm gonna go with the curved because I want more, more, I guess you could say a, a, a better path of light for while I'm driving. Instead of just shooting straight, it's gonna beam over to my corners a little bit better. Don't want to use a, uh, a gun on this. I don't want to strip anything. So we're gonna go ahead and finish them off and uh, get back on it. So there's something, something else I want to share with you because not all lights are created the same, right? Here's the cool, cool, cool factor of the Casey Highlights Pro 6. If you have a light that goes out you take off these four bolts and you pull the bezel off and you can get a new light or it can be warranted as just a light. So a standard LED light bar, when an LED goes out, the pull bar is done. You see it, it's done. On this 
Pro 6 Casey Highlights Bar. When one goes out, you remove the bolts, pull that out, and you can buy a new light or one can be warranted to you. The other cool factor on this is, again, it's customizable. Remember, we, we went from gold to gray on our Flex Series light, which also comes in red, blue, and black. You can take these off again and have these coated. So you get to customize them. These do come with uh, rad little light covers as well to protect it from rocks. Uh, I have them right here in the bag. We'll get to that in a second. But again, another benefit is you get a full-blown harness with everything you need to hook it up. And you can see the harness in here is rad. It's, it's very, very nice for a light. You can see the details in there. And if you break something, it unplugs and they'll send you a, new heart, a whole new housing. If you want to add to it, you can add to it. This is just, for the money, this is the, the light I'm gonna recommend, guys. So, Casey Highlights Pro 6. We got the Casey Highlights Flex LED. It's starting to, starting to look like a mean machine. I'll show you what I do with those covers. They're just in here for right now. Nice hard composite plastic. I get stickers and cover this up sometimes. You can customize those as well. Speaking about something super dope, this is the PRP knee knocker door bag. Okay, these bags are meant for factory doors. Um, I've made them work with the Cognito doors. They, they come with a backing back here. You can't see it, but there's Velcro back here and it's sticking to the door. I simply just zip tie them up there and there and right there. So you got a little pad. I still have my door handle, a place to put stuff in, which that's, that's rad. So they call them knee knocker doors, bags uh, for the factory doors, but uh, it's just pretty cool. See inside, no, these are not waterproof, okay? All the PRP product line, just so you guys know, and we're getting off topic here, they are water resistant, okay? Marine grade vinyls, same thing. Tweed's gonna absorb water, but the foam inside the seat's actually been covered, just like the bags, water resistant, okay guys? So we're gonna get the Casey Cyclone up on the interior dome light, right up there. I actually got another PRP bag back here. We'll throw our belt in there, maybe some other goodies. It's actually pretty good storage for what it is. And it just wraps around your back bar. These are universal, guys. A lot of universal bags on our website. Check it out. We are gonna jump right into this bad boy. This is the Cyclone, again, with the tube clamp. Diffused white. that going all right i know this isn't the best angle you know i'm at home doing this just like you guys are so <laughs> you know sometimes i i don't always get the best shot you can see the rear view mirror that comes standard with the cognito cage that's on the car uh this is the casey highlights diffused cyclone comes with its wiring harness yes this is the whole harness. This is all you get. You have to terminate it on your own. They do sell them in a kit. You can get the kit as well. We went with an individual one with the tube mount clamp system. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. It's really easy. <laughs> all we're gonna do is open it up. You can put it anywhere in the vehicle. It. If I put it like right there, I'll loosen the bolt, spin this harness over, and it'll tie in up here when we go to get it wired, because I don't wire things, because I 
am horrible at it, but I'm gonna be learning soon. I got these just tucked up out of the way right now. That's it, it's that simple. That's your install. That's it. So if you want more, you just order more clamps. It's that simple. Um, it's a very easy install. Again, you're not having to drill holes. You're not having to do anything. Basically, you take your cyclone. Look at that, you guys are gonna get sick, I'm sure. And you, it comes with the bolt and the washer and you just bolt it on up. That's it. So we're just gonna do one for right now. Uh, the, the plan is to get uh, one in each wheel well. I'm still figuring out the colors because you can get this, you can get the Cyclones in, in a variety of colors. Uh, there's green, pink, which I'm kind of leaning towards, blue, amber, red. So uh, again, you get to customize them. That's what's really cool. And if you guys aren't into this style, and you're looking for, because this isn't just an interior light. We're going to mount them in the wheel wells for a colored look. So when we're hanging out at the hill or whatnot, we can turn those on. It's a super, super low amp draw. That way our, our vehicle is not blacked out and you can see some light around it. So we don't get hit in the event of someone not seeing us at night. So low amp draw, you can leave them on. There's also an RGB kit that's available. It's not exactly a cyclone though. It's a little bit different. But for you guys who want to put them on your trucks as well, you can use the Cyclones or the RGBs. So there's one little thing I want to show you guys too, because I was talking about the uh, PRP door bags that we just put in. Let me show you this. Okay, so we got door bags. We got the Pro 6 LED up top. We got the Flex 10 inch in the bumper. We got the Cyclone for interior light. We're gonna add some more Cyclones later on. And I got the PRP door bags in. Here's the deal. Something happens at night, you don't have sufficient lights or anything to help you along the way in the night of actually making a repair. I wanna show you this. This is the Casey Highlights flashlight. This thing's legit, guys. This is 500 lumens, adjustable, and it's extremely bright. Kind of want to show you this. It's a very nice light. It comes with the batteries. Click this light off. And see if we can get a beam pattern on the wall for you. There we go. And I can pull it and widen it out. Boom. That's pretty impressive. So I can target in or I can adjust the range. So I am about, I don't know, a foot and a half from the wall right now. Now I'm three feet, four feet, you get the idea. This thing is extremely bright. It's really cool light. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. So, I got all the lights on. We've got the Casey Highlights Flex 10 inch, which I customized and went with a custom silver color with one black. Remember guys, you can get this in red, gold, blue, and black. And there's a tool that takes it out that you can order from us as well. Mount it right onto the Cognito bumper, looks rad. 
That thing's just under 5,000 lumens. It's modular, you can get a, a 10 to a 20 to a 30 to a 40 to a 50, link it all together. It's rad. We already went over the Heretic lights. Again, we customized them. They look dope. We got a lot of lights on the front. If you count them, there's six in the headlights. And then another five, there's 11. Boom, another six. 17 lights forward facing as of right now. This is the Casey Highlights Pro 6 we just installed on the Cognito cage. With the Cognito mounts for the Pro 6 that bolted right in over the latch for the window nets. This is your, your long distance light. So we have our up front, our down low, and our long distance. And when I got this, it was straight. This is what's really cool about the Pro 6 is, see how it's radius now? You adjust everything to how you want it. Another cool thing about the Pro 6 is if you break a light or something goes wrong, you just undo these four machine screws, the bezel comes off and you can replace the light. So on a traditional light bar, when an LED goes out, the light bar is done. It is what it is. You can't fix it. So, pretty cool. Super pumped on the cage. Everything, how it all worked out. You can see the bracketry right here for the window nets. Just full race inspired, locks it in. And the secondary bracket from Cognito for the Pro 6 for the Cognito cage bolts right in. Well thought out. Super pumped on it. Had to move. Our Rugged Radio's pumper rotated it. We added the KC Highlights diffused cyclone with the KC Highlights two clamp. Things rat, makes it easy. Got all the PRP seats. Again, these are the GTSEs. They're so dope. You can custom design these. There's no extra charge. We got the knee knocker door back that I modified. Got my lighting instructions to take there. When we get it wired, because I suck at wiring. And today we got in the KC Highlights rear chase light bar. So, this is your driving, brake, amber, and two clears. This thing is awesome. We can strobe everything, we can turn it on separately. It's insane, super pumped on that. Really, really excited about this. Got a few more things to do on this. Uh, let's take a look. The other thing that came in, excuse me. Boom. Got the 5150 Bluetooth 187 whips right there. So I went ahead and already installed them. Uh, haven't done the wiring on them. I haven't even put them on the core, which I thought was pretty cool. They come with caps, pretty neat. Dust caps, boom. Take those off. Let's see how this goes, because I have not slid them in. I'm holding the phone. That's it. Pretty crazy. Oh. Got two of them, one for each corner. so hot I, ha I don't I have not had a 5150 whip yet myself so uh, it's kind of nice I'm gonna be able to do a review on this let you guys know what I truly think about it damn this car every day is evolving So pretty much, I got all the lights on there that I'm gonna run with right now. We've got the 5150, 187 remote control, or these are the Bluetooth, I'm sorry, Bluetooth whips. You can tell by the RCAs. These are black, the other ones will be white. Pretty excited to run those. Like I said, I haven't ran them. 
I have a lot of experience in the KC highlights, rear chase light bar, I love those for the price. You cannot beat it for all the functions and the amount of light that you get. Uh, pretty cool about the Cognito cage, it actually came with the mounts too, to mount the rear light bar. So again, Cognito, not everything. I went ahead and added some more stuff. Uh, as you can kind of see, I'm, I'm still tinkering on it. Added the uh, rugged radios pumper hose holders. So if you're not wearing your helmet, these things aren't flopping around. Just put them up there. Boom, they stay. Those are pretty dope. Got a couple more things I want to play with before we get this in the dirt. I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm moving to Arizona, so I'm going to be able to to drive this basically every day. Um, I'm in California now, and these aren't street legal, so uh, Arizona they are. So we got a few things still to do. Obviously, I got to wire it up or get it wired up. Get all these lights working. Get the radios working. The whips working. Eric at Hardware Performance is going to make all the harnesses for us, and we're going to hold off to light them up because. I'm going to go visit Ecstasy Power Sports in Arizona when I get there. And we're going to have a cool video with those guys. So that'll be that'll be dope. Looking forward to that. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. Hopefully get some answers to some of your questions that we see a lot of. So that'll be pretty neat. Got a few more things. You know, I, I constantly banging into everyone's head. Safety, 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 safety. We've built a pretty safe, pretty, pretty mean little turbo s here um, but i can see a few things missing and i'm going to address that in the next video because before i take this off out and start really using it it's not all the way there yet what am i missing that should mount right here you guys tell me put it in the comments oh this is cool check this out yeah i might have to put the phone down because when you do this you have to push tension on it down. And it's really hard to do one-handed. There we go. We already talked about this PRP. Very universal bag. It's got a bunch of pockets in it and zippers. Just Velcroed onto the back. Plenty of storage. Two compartments of it. Got the speed strap. This is my UTV tie down kit. We sell this on the side as well. These are awesome. If you don't have one, you should get one. It even comes with a toe strap. Covers for everything so you don't destroy your, your components. Just got this today. We're going to go over this. This is from Assault. This is their cooler bag. Get a lot of questions about this. Never had one. So I'm gonna put it to the use, test it out, give you guys a review. Look forward to, to showing you that. This thing's so rad. Anyways, guys, keep tuning in. Put us in your comments. Let's hear it. What do you guys think of the build? Continue to, to uh, watch us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram. Until next time, see you guys soon.